sometimes I think I'm a pretty fair man, but one damn thing that I can't stand when your husband busman looking for a date, and it doesn't really matter if her head's a little late, cause I turn the lights real low at night, and you grab her by the fat, then you pinch her tight, a worm on and a squirm, but you never get a loose, cause you both know you're looking for a Christmas goose, and you both kinda think you've had enough cheap wine, cause you tied her up with binder twine, and you bend right over, put your face real close, put your eyes roll back, and you stop, cause she's got stinky breath. Stanky, 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 something like grandpa dropped a rose, but more like cousin Ethel's toes. Stanky breath. Stanky, stanky. Now I like going to the old bar dance, cause I get to wear a watch in my fancy pants, and I do step three step promenade, and I get real drunk, and I get real loud, and I look for the honey with the real big front, and I wanna pick her up like an elephant's trunk, so I beat her and I gave her liquor all night long. I took her outside, I showed her my song, but she fell right back. You hit the muck, you can't pass up the opportunity to get a lucky little kiss So you fuck her up and get real close, put your eyes roll back and you stop Cause she's got stinky breath Stanky, 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 something like bottled chocolate dump But more like old Chateau Let's come, stinky breath Stanky, stanky, stanky Stanky Hard to get, and I don't really care if she don't want a pet, and I ain't too picky when it comes to clothes, and the same thing goes for her big thick nose, and her wrinkled lips, and her horse like tongue, and her eyeball, even though there's only one, and her legs full of hair, and leather like skin, or the crack in her head where the weather gets in, cause I love that honey with the real big front, and I love a boomy snug, I love my old bump, but I'm getting kinda tired of getting so damn close that my eyes roll back and I stop, cause she's got stinky breath. Stanky, 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 something like grandpa dropped a rose, but more like cousin Ethel's toes, stinky breath. Stanky, 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 something like bottled chocolate dump, but more like old Chateau Lascombe, stanky breath. Stanky, 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 something like horses feet and hay, but more like Jersey cow pate, stanky breath. Stanky, stanky, stanky. Stanky. Yeah. 
Well, wouldn't you know, Bert scratched his head and said, Hell with what that doctor said. I'm taking me a walk on down the strip. He found some little young tomato with an IQ of a baked potato. Showed her the pills and smiled and said, Let's trip. <laughs> nah. Well, off they went up to her place. Bert thought he'd sort of slow her pace, so he shut the drapes to kind of make it dark. He slipped three pills inside her drink, and he filled her up, and he peed in the sink, and he burnt down the place when he lit one of his farts. <laughs> now Bert, now he's old and frail. Bert, now he sits in jail. Bert, now he's got no clothes. And Bert, now he picks his nose. Bert, now he never drinks, just counts his days and sits and thinks. Hey, you, oh, 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 bone or nag, did it, get it, get it. Scared you, eh? That's a Mexican music. Makes you think you got it uh, when you don't. Ole! Ole is Mexican for oil. Well, years have passed the whole world by. Some don't care, neither do I. Cause I stay pretty drunk, and I'm real glad. Old Bird's still living in the pen. I sneak him a bottle now and then, and I visit him once a week, cause he's my dad. Now Bert, now he's old and frail. Bert, now he sits in jail. Bert, now he's got no clothes. And Bert, now he picks his nose. Bert, now he never drinks. Just counts his days and sits and thinks. Hey, oh, 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 bone or dang, did it get a gate? Some don't skilly bama bum on the bank. When I turned 18, I figured I should work. I didn't want him to be in anybody's jerk So I looked for a job like a good young Turk They said there wasn't any, so I left Well, a couple of years later, I was hanging around a bar I had a couple of beers and I had a couple more They should have seen my belly, it was hanging on the floor And you'd only recognize me by my breath Well, the years flew by and the price got high But I never seemed to worry about the booze I'd buy I drink where I want, to my birdie of a guy Thank God I'm an Elky well, I never had a license and I never had a car I drink around the corner and I ain't too far I'll never be a politician, never be a star But I know I got the makings if I tried Now I don't pay a lease cause I really don't care I ain't got nothing and I live nowhere But you won't hear me crying that I just ain't fair Cause I got another bottle in my underwear I hate doing dishes and I hate making beds I sleep in the alley with my friends instead And I never have to worry if I wake up dead Thank God I'm an key. And we get along fine We live downtown And we drink the same wine Their views on life Are the same as mine And we never can remember When we fight I ain't afraid to do What the rich don't dare I never leave the room When I pass my air I like big women And I like them bare And I love them When they snore in the night Well, I got no hair And I got no teeth I got no gold hanging underneath Damn, I don't give a damn I'm a garbage can Thank God I'm an alky And I got no name And I got no face Cause I quit this gold dang human race Hello, this world It's a funny, funny place <laughs> Thank God I'm an alky <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
Thursday evening I'll be heading out to Milliganville And everyone there was drunk as a bear Making sure they got their fill again Everything went the same for 20 years They ate their fill and they drank the beer And Milligan came to his hill again Time and again he would bring a sweet belly for Bill Well, Billy was Milligan's really good cousin-in-law And they hung it together, you know On Milligan's hill it was silly old Billy Who really would get all the fillies And toe in their uncle William drunk as he was He played the role of the local fuzz And he'd come up to Milligan's hill again Time and again he would drink up his fill and he'd go Well, winter on Milligan's hill was a thrill to begin with You must have a will to get up A will and a fill of the wickedest liquor The chill it'll kill if you dare to get stuck The local folk, they didn't go far Except for one, the fat old parson Finnegan Time and again he would come up to Milligan's hill And he brought his own cup Well, Billy and Milligan, William and I Were quietly drinking our fill of the brew Went out of the chill of old Milligan's hill Come a filly of Billy's a-bringing her crew She walked inside and into boot Brought thirty-four women of ill repute Billy and Milligan leapt to their feet But the thriller was watching old William stoop As his eyes rolled back in his head He flopped around like he was dead He slurped and burped and fell in his beer And everyone thought he was dying His legs shot into the air Scared the hell out of everyone there And Milligan said, damn you, Billy, you silly old fool Now you're really a pickled Nardell We'll all be getting our fill of the will Cause you killed our uncle William Well, Milligan, Billy, and I were just milling around and we're willing to help if we could. The crazy young fillies come down with the willies and crying like sillies, their heads were like wood. They whirled and flailed all over the place, their makeup was running all down their faces. Milligan, Billy, and Milligan drank up their fill of the still and I thought that they should. Their uncle William lay quite still on Milligan's hill in the pub. A knock on the door and a few couple more and he knocked off the snow to the floor with a thud. He just stood still and a chill was bringing fear through me and Bill. Parson Finnegan said, what's any of you done to your uncle William as his eyes rolled back in his head? He flopped around like he was was dead, he chirped and burped and fell in his beer, and everyone thought he was dying, his legs shot into the air, scared the hell out of everyone there, and Parson Finnegan said, looking grim, it's a terrible joke, and I'm sure it's a sin, and your 35 hookers will never quite win out the heart of your poor old dead uncle William and Milligan said, damn your belly, yes, Ellie, old fool, now you're really a pickled ardell, we'll know we'll be getting our fill of the will, cause you killed our uncle William. Well, Billy and Milligan, Parson Finnegan, all of the 35 women and I Sat in a chill up on Milligan's hill and we all drank a fill with a tear in our eye But we soon got terribly shaken cause never before had we been taking Uncle William They either killing himself and laughing and starting to cry Parson Finnegan, all of the women and Milligan, Billy and I Covered his rear with our glasses of beer and our feet and we hastily threw him outside The wind that blew had just the chill to freeze his arse as cold as a hill And Uncle William ran into Milligan's pump to the fire and he stuck in his hide And his eyes rolled back in his head, he flopped around like he was dead, slurped and burped and fell in his beer, and everyone thought he was dying. His legs shot into the air, scared the hell out of everyone there. And Uncle William never leaked fire, cause never before was his arse on fire. His eyes rolled back in his head, he flopped around like he was dead. He slurped and burped and fell in his beer, and everyone thought he was dying. His legs shot into the air, scared the hell out of everyone there. And Billigan said, damn you, Billy, you silly old fool, now you're really a pickled art ill. We'll all be getting our fill of the will. We'll all be getting our fill of the will till we kill our Uncle William. Legs walking. Num, 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 num. Ah, catchy. Me like.
legs working. Legs working. Um, um, uh, very commercial. May like. Legs walking. Well, I walked into a tavern yesterday. I took out 50 cents so I could pay. Everybody there was staring like my old backside was bare. And I just sat down in a chair and said, nice day. The waitress came to me and she said, how many? I said, just one thing, Smith, my horse, he don't drink any. I said, I'm a doctor and I believe that if the horse don't drink, then I don't weave and the police won't be getting my last penny. She said, your breakfast singing a pretty foul tune. You make it that big smell like French perfume. And I don't think that I can serve you because these nice folks don't deserve you. And the manager walks up with two baboons and he said, doctor, you Well, me and my horse Thunder walked outside. We rode till we could find a place to hide. Well, we got some hair and bones, little blue and sticks and stones, and walked into that bar with our disguise. Yeah. Well, no one said a word, so we sat down. I had Thunder on my back, say so he ordered us around. Well, the waitress couldn't understand. She plugged her nose, got sick and ran. I ate some popcorn from the floor I found. Started up with their barrage. They played so loud they blew away our homemade camouflage. We both knew we were done in when that manager came running with two grease monkeys they got from some garage. And he said, Doctor, get your bad breath out of here. Yes, think so bad, can't no one taste their beer. And if you don't be right now, then these fine men will show you how. So, Doctor, get your bad breath out of here. Yeah. I still had some money. I bought some toilet paper and we dressed up like a mummy. Some girls ran up in fear, so I drank up all their beer. And I filled that empty hole down in my tummy. Yeah, we didn't say a word, just sat in peace. We listened to the band and kept an eye out for police. I felt pretty safe inside of my men's room disguise. So I unwrapped Thunder's head so he could breathe. Well, I was just about to order up a jug. When that manager caught sight of Thunder's mug. Hell, we were almost out the door, but Thunder cut when knocked us on the floor, and that manager kept hitting with his club. And he said, Doctor, get your bad breath out of here. You stink so bad, can't no one taste your beer. I told you twice before, you can't come back in here no more. So, Doctor, get your bad breath out of here. Doctor, get your bad breath out of here. Yes, thanks so bad, can't no one taste their beer. Just take your horse and run, cause I'm gonna get my gun. And I'll fill your butt with lead, don't have no fear. So doctor, get your bad breath out of here. Hey folks. I'm gonna get an old friend of mine up to sing for you here. <laughs> Come on up here, Matt. It's Bob, you fool. Matt's Bob. Most aren't the same. Well, that ain't the point. Oh, 
For three solid years I was living in a motel Living out my suitcase in greasy restaurants But one fine morning the woman came to my door She asked me for the rent I said, it's fair She said, you crazy? You gotta pay me somehow The door was open wide But a wind came up and slammed it shut But lo and behold, a master key In walks her husband and he's mad at me Looks like he caught me with my pants down He caught me with my pants When I was only 16 Living in a basement Her mom was really nice Every second weekend Her folks would go see Grandpa at the farm And baby and me would play Look and see and maybe Do what the grown-ups do we didn't really plan on Grandpa getting sunstroke, the fool. In walks her parents from the country. Her daddy tried to kill me just cause he caught me with my pants down. He caught me with my pants down. People make such efforts I did not even get a chance to talk to him I never thought I did such a wrong It's not like I was there to try and rob him Big deal, he caught me with my pants down So blow on it The judge was a fool I really didn't dig him he said I looked familiar I said it was my dad Well I learned right there You really should not leave him He's the king He said look here son You've been too long on the run We're gonna have to set you straight I said I didn't know That Harry he was so young The judge said he found a place for me to live Elsie was the judge's favorite relative I guess he just caught me with my pants down He got me with my pants down He caught me with my pants down It's Bob Empty Head. Yeah. Hey, let's have one of them jam session protests. Uh, you don't jam the truth. Uh, here's a, a newspaper. You don't know how to read. Uh, just look at the picture. You are such a fool. Maybe I can find a home for you. Thing, Curly. Politicians say we have to cut back. Don't they even know we never eat? I'll tell them where they have to go Go hang around some rodeo So they can smell what we do When they speak Well, freedom for the police is a issue 
searching is their job, that may be true. But when their freedom's in your bed and they search your wife instead, sign me up, I'll be a police too. It says the alcoholic rate is higher. Good. Shut up, you fool. This is my verse. You know, maybe you should stop and think about the wild amount you drink. I do. And then I want it worse. Ugh. Every day there's salt talks in the paper. Everybody wants the biggest bang. But when the next damn war is through and there's no one left to screw, it no matter which one had the biggest wine. I know the truth. I read it in the paper. And if you can't read, at least you'll get the hint. That the only way to get the use is keeping clean the old caboose. Right up where you keep those balls of lint. So maybe you should read the fine print. Sometimes I go grocery shopping When I'm hungry and I end up buying a lot of junk food And things I don't really need And that's dumb And I always sort of feel silly When I'm walking down the road Wearing my brown hat And I'm singing a song I already know And I forget the words And I gotta hum I guess all those good-looking guys they ain't as stupid as me. <laughs> and they get all the pretty girls cause they can remember all them fancy lines. But I don't care. Hell with it. <laughs> that don't really bother me. <laughs> Except sometimes. Sometimes when I go outside, I forget to wash my face and put a shirt on and brush my teeth. Who cares? I'm pretty damn tough. At least I ain't like them well-dressed guys on the television set. All them athletes, they always got to say hi to their mom. And all that kid stuff. I guess with all their money and muscles, they ain't got the guts to be a tough cowpoke. <laughs> like I am. You don't see me acting like that. Oh, gee. <laughs> I never miss my mom. Yep, sometimes. These guys and their pretty girls, and they gotta take them out and 
bump jewelry and clothes and shoes and, and all that crap. Yeah. They're just as dumb as me. <laughs> Cause, well, what do they do? She leaves the house and finds some other good looking guy. She never comes back. <laughs> So you see, being dumb and ugly uh, means I don't have to go through that garbage because it just ends up being a, a big old fuss. That's why I don't give a damn about having a girlfriend <laughs> or someone to love you. <laughs> Except at Christmas. tale to tell some guys two or three but mine's the worst and i should know because a damn thing happened to me well i pulled into a town and i was tired and lonesome too i had 35 bucks and a handful of luck and some shit on one of my shoes well i drank my supper real slow i drank down my dessert my pants were getting kind of tight and my brain was starting to hurt when all of a sudden i saw her the woman of my dreams the more i drank the better she looked my brain began to scheme I beckoned her to come to me, but Lord, how I was wrong. Cause the closer she got, the uglier she was. She looked like Genghis Khan. Oh, mean looking thing. Big woman. She looked down at me. <laughs> Howdy, boy, it's the bumps of me. Jumping, thumping, pumping, bumping, humping, that's my game. <laughs> come on, boy, that's what it's all about. Just say your prayers and don't get scared and get that money out. Well, what she did for a living, it just wasn't quite clear to me. But she grabbed me by the scruff of the drawers and upstairs to 103. Well, I couldn't get a word in, cause I was too damn drunk, you see. And before I knew it, I was down to my birthday suit. So was she, Ooh. big woman, Ooh. big. <laughs> she looked me square in the face. <laughs> Howdy, boy, Ethel pumps me. Jumping, thumping, pumping, bumping, humping, that's my game. Come on, boy, that's what it's all about. Just say your prayers and don't get scared and get that money out. Hey! Well, scared as I was, I fought real hard and I ended up on top. I was putting her in a submission hold. She screamed, how much you got? Well, I had to look, cause don't you see, she caught me by surprise. Well, she took my 35 bucks and then she grabbed me by the thighs and she said, Howdy boy, it's the pumps of me. Jumping, thumping, pumping, bumping, humping, that's my game. Come on, boy, that's what it's all about. You just say your prayers and don't get scared and get that money out. Hey! Worst part about it is, nobody believes me it happened that way. Second worst part about it is, <laughs> the old lady's catching on. <laughs> Why, we're short 35 bucks every week. <laughs> Howdy, boy, it's the pumps of me. Jumping, thumping, pumping, bumping, humping, that's my game. <laughs> Come on, boy, that's what it's all about. You just say your prayers and don't get scared and get 